So after all the whole Hulabalu about Metacod not offering uh, their services of MT5, MT4 uh, to profit, most profit companies any longer, uh, Profem have now devised the means of using other platforms. So we now have so many other platforms that they use, like uh, Match Trader, C Trader, and so many other ones. But in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you all you need to know about C Trader. Now, C Trader is becoming more popular because of the ease of use. A lot of people are becoming uh, very entangled with C Trader because it looks more like MT5, right? So I'm going to be showing you all you need to know about C Trader. And if that sounds good and it's something you want to know more about, I will encourage you to watch this video from the beginning to the end. Okay, let's go. Okay, so guys, as soon as you log into your C Trader, this is how the platform is going to look like. Okay, now looking at this platform, it kind of looks confusing like, what is this? It's kind of messy, right? But don't worry, I'm going to be showing you exactly everything you need to know. I'll make it very simple and easy for you to understand how to navigate this platform, okay? Now, if you look at this chart here, you can see this chart here is kind of very, very small here, okay? If you try to adjust it here, it's not adjustable because it's, it's very, 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 that's really they're actually beautiful. But I'm going to be expanding this to show you more. Now, if you look at the left-hand side here, you're going to be seeing all the different pairs here. You can see Euro USD, let's say USD BTC, and all that here. Okay. Uh, so if you want to even create your own personal uh list, okay, you can still go ahead and create your list here. You can sit down here, you can create your own watch list, okay. Just name it and create your own watch list, okay. But as soon as you log in, these pairs, these are popular pairs that actually comes with the C trader, okay. Now, if you check up here, you can see we have SAU USD here. If you want to add another chart here, you can just click on it, okay? Then you're going to choose the chart you want to use. Let me put GBP USD here, okay? So you can see for us to make our analysis and to take our trade, this thing actually looks very, very small, but I'm going to be expanding this chart here, okay? So the thing you need to do is just to click on this. You can see this button, this arrow that shows detach first, okay? You're going to click on this arrow. Okay, so when you click on this arrow, you see it now makes this uh, chart to be kind of very, very good. Okay, you can see the chart is now very, very good. Okay, now looking at the chart, if you look behind this chart, you can see that there's this grid behind it. For me personally, I don't like this grid. There's also the logo of C Trader behind it. And also you can see this period line, this period line. I always like my charts to be very, very neat like so we're going to be removing this grid removing this period line and also removing this logo so let's start with that so we're going to right click okay so you need to right click you can see this this button here on your mouse you're going to right click on it okay then you're going to scroll down here where it says view viewing options okay then you're going to go to the right hand side you see where it says grid here i'm going to click on check it if you uncheck it you can see that the grid is no longer there then also I'm going to uncheck this period separation so that I'll be able to remove this period separation, okay? So uh, let's quickly do that, okay? We're going to un uncheck this so it, you can see it has removed, okay? Now, also if you want to remove the logo, okay? This C-Trader logo behind, it, it's optional. If you want, you can leave it there. But for me, I don't want it. So I'm going to scroll down and go to this where it says background image. I'm going to click on background image and I'm going to click on none, okay? When you click on none, you click on save, you see the chart is now looking more beautiful and more clearer for us to use, okay? So the next thing we're gonna be looking at is the different tools that comes with this platform. Now, for you to get to this platform, you can either use the web or you can also use uh, the downloaded one, okay? For me, I'm using the downloaded one and I actually got it from my um, instant funding account, okay? Different prop firms actually use this, uh, prop firm like um, Maven Trading, they start funding and a whole lot of them actually use C Trader. Okay. So as soon as you sign up with your um you start you sign up with your prop firm, they're actually going to be giving you your credentials to your C Trader. Okay. They're going to be giving you because as soon as before you actually buy it, they're going to give you the option. Okay. Like if you check it, if you check on Maven here, if you check on Maven here, before you buy it, they are going to give you the option. You can see on Maven here. So you can, if you want to use Citrader, you just click on here, you check it here, then you go ahead, you buy, then they're going to be giving you the credentials for your Citrader after you buy it, okay? So um, all you just need to do, like I rightly say, you can use the web or you can decide to use the uh, downloaded application on your system, okay? For me personally, I'm using the downloaded application on my system, okay? So um, quickly, uh, like I rightly said, let me quickly go to the platform again. So here, you can see there are different tools that you can actually use here. 
It's just like TradingView actually. Uh, and moreover, guys, I've come to understand and notice that this platform is more of like NT5 actually. Uh, it's mo most of the things here is what we have on NT5. Uh, I'm beginning to enjoy this uh, platform, especially if you are using the mobile application of SwiftTrader, you understand that it's more of uh, uh, it's more of uh, NT5, okay? So quickly here, let me quickly show you all the different tools they have here. So you can see, the uh, horizontal line here, okay, horizontal button here, you can use this, just put in your, uh, your horizontal line here. If you want to use your trend line, you can click on this, you can choose your trend line here. So they have all the button, the Fibonacci, uh, the measurements, everything is actually here on your right-hand side of uh, the platform, okay? And also let me show you the timer. I'm going to be showing you, so you can see they have the one minute, two minute, 15 minutes, one hour, they have it all up here pre-installed for you already, okay? So if you want to take your trade, that is what I'm going to be showing you now, okay? Because that is kind of very, very important also if you want to take your trade. So you can see we have just like um, uh, met, uh, uh, MT4, MT5 here. You can see you want to take your trade, you can take it up here, okay? When you click on it, it's going to show you, let's assume you want to buy, okay? It's going to buy for you automatically here, okay? For you to... Uh, if you want to adjust and put in your stuff here, let's assume you want to put in uh, your stop loss and all that, okay? We're going to put in all that here, okay? But I don't like buying directly like this. I don't really like buying directly like this. So for that reason, let me show you how I like to buy. Uh, you're going to right-click on your mouse, right-click on your mouse, okay? Then you're going to go up here where it says create new order, okay? Create new order, you click on create new order, and it's going to bring you here. So when it brings you here, here you will not be able to choose the lot size you want to use, okay? There are different lot sizes you can choose from here, okay? So you can see all the lot sizes here. You just need to choose your own lot size here. And also if you want to put your stop loss, okay? You're just going to click here. Now, one of the beauty of this platform is this. When you click on this stop loss, you can either put your stop loss by pips, okay? So you can put it by pips here. You can decide to use price, okay? So let's assume you must have done your analysis either on their platform here or on TradingView, you know your stop loss price, you're just gonna come down here, you're just gonna put in your price here, okay? And also you can use your balance, which is your percentage. You wanna say 1% of your, of your trade is what you wanna lose, 0.5%, you're gonna put that also in here if you wanna do that. And also uh, you can just put, okay, fine. I just wanna do it by price. Like I wanna lose just $300 on this trade. Then you're going to come in here. Let's say you put in $300 here. Okay. Then automatically it's going to help you to fill up the parameters. Okay. So the same thing is applicable to if you want to do your take profit, you can just put it there. Okay. That is that here. Okay. So after you must have done that, then you just go ahead. You're going to click on place order here. Okay. When you click on place order, then automatically you just place your order. Okay. Uh, is it that you, you're doing it on sell or you are doing it on buy? You'll be able to do it over here okay so you can see that's how simple and easy it is for you to actually place your order like as you can really see here my order is on already and if you want to close it it's, it's very very easy for you okay you just go ahead and click on this button here okay you can see this star here when you click on it then automatically it's going to close the trade so you can see i've already closed the trade here now right so that is how simple and easy it is for you to actually use this platform, okay? So quickly, let me go back to the main uh, stuff here and show you something here. You can actually get your news um, details here, okay? Let's assume you're trading and you want to know, oh, which news is coming up here? You can see on their platform, they are going to be showing you the different kind of news that are going to be coming up here, okay? So you can just go through the news here and see oh, which news is coming up, okay? Uh, you can see the calendar also here. You can see all the calendars here, right? So if you want to do, uh, probably you want to do your uh, stop limit, you want to do your every other kind of trade apart from market you can just choose any one that you want to do here you can choose your stop limit you can do your limit order you can do all that also over here okay all you just need to do just like the normal thing if you know how to put in all those fee all those uh figures you just put them put them here and you're going to go ahead and place your trade okay so i want to believe i've been able to explain how to use this platform okay it's very, very easy, like you can currently see. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please, guys, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Like this video and give it a thumbs up, okay? I want to say thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Do take care of yourself, guys, and bye-bye for now.